Ayorak. He's been uh, really getting famous lately. Now, if you don't know, I used to be an Iraq watcher. I used to watch every single one of his videos. The old ones where he was like, I sneaked into this extremely big event through the fucking gutters, through the sewers. And I always had a doubt. Was this staged? Did he buy the tickets before? And then just pretend that he did all of this? Turns out I was right. Because Sorgi Serial basically made a video. In that video he said, um, yeah, Eric is a pretender. Because he just said, oh yeah, I made these many videos, these are like all my videos now. I, ma I make sure that my videos never get faked. But he proceeds to fake it. The 30 days challenge is fake. Because anyone with a fucking gorilla-ish brain will know, um, or even a fucking dumbass will know that to edit a video with that high quality within a day, it will take 24 people working on that video on the same project, on the same computer, like different computers but linked to the one computer. Where they add a change, it will be visible to all the other computers. And then they have to basically work for 24 7 to get that shit done in every single 30 days. Or if you take the other argument that he said he will upload for 30 days, he did upload for 30 days. But again, he did not shoot them within 30 days. Like he says he did. The Australian one shot was shot differently. The Dubai one was shot differently. And there was a video where he basically compared $101 shit, basically hotel rooms. And even that was faked. That wasn't faked. That was actually done, yeah. But there have been a section where basically it says I sneaked in to this theater with a van. But I'm 100% sure he just asked the staff, can you like say that I, you know, sneaked in? Oh, actual cops might have came, but whatever. 99% of his videos are faked. And it's faked with perfection. In one of his video, where he said he's going to the angle in quarantine because that place was isolated. To the point, uh, that country, that, that place is purely dependent on um, one thing called uh, tourist income. So when tourists come, they'll get money. When they don't, they'll, they'll be fucked. That's the thing. So he said that he's going to spend all of his money, all of his hard-earned YouTube money. And that's what he did. He went there. And he spent all the money and yet, right? He basically went to a place that is a few 200,000 miles away from 200,000 feet, according to Google Maps statistics, uh, away from the angle. The angle is a military restricted place. Even with a private militia, you can't go there without a president's per permission or the president that runs the place's permission with what a good reason just because you're doing charity won't do won't mean shit if it's a military restricted place so he rendered out a hangar and pretended that this guy doesn't know how to drive he basically mocked the aeroplane driver that was doing still there, pretending shit where he pretended that he's going there going here wherever air rack wanted him to go like his his little slave if you he basically called him his real name chanted it abused him by talking you're like oh yeah he doesn't know how to fucking drive he was like i'm the big guy i know how to drive i i'm best at driving and all that bullshit i mean he never said he's best at driving he made up a fake story to get more attention he made up a fake story made up a character trait for the pilot that he did not even have and when he did what happened people were engaged people were hooked people were like that he's a fucking asshole People never like to think. They like to watch, consume what the, what is being placed in front of them. If you place a fucking dead lobster with shit coming out of his anus, people will eat it. So, so it's a fucking raccoon. People will eat it. They do not give a flying fuck about what's being presented to them. They don't care if it's faked or not. They give you money. They, you make them think that they are a part of a cult, a family, a group, 
a channel member but let me tell you to all those low lives out there all of those cultureless fucks out there if you are a channel member of air what the fuck you exactly think is going to happen if you are a member of fan club what you think is going to happen this is the hot take from bjc sulit when you are, are a fan of an actor what exactly do you get by joining this fan club you can just watch and appreciate his acting that's all you need to do you don't need to go into a fan club and it's shit people like to praise someone that is really famous airag is like every one of you guys so the is the big actors in hollywood because genuinely airag was a, just a guy just a random guy now he's famous because he pretended to be late mac joined in on this mocking session of airag of this kind of pilot and he's also getting really big traction mr beast basically casted him in two of his videos in both where he had a chance to make a 1 million dollars and i'm happy he didn't win shit because a guy like him should, doesn't deserve 1 million dollars you know why because he genuinely dogs the guy because if you just search the pilot's name if you just go to the original video from era and if you just search the pilot's name you can see his entire license you can also see which company he worked for at the time the information is available he's not a military pilot neither is he a pilot for extremely secret cia agents he works for a company a company that is public most of his information are visible on google and he went there talk shit about it and then acts like it's not a big day and when a guy says but it's a you are bodgeman or so right now it's a normal guy he just says that uh, he fake laughs so that you know his voice is overshadowed by his voice when i see a fuck a fake bitch like him it's truly pathetic how many people suck his cock every single day i hope you like this video if you did go finger your ass and uh, go try to find a woman because you're bitchless you're maidenless now you know what before ending this video i want to say something yeah i want to say something ludwig is a hypocrite his content is extremely entertaining and i cannot deny it neither can i say he's a bad person but when dark viper au said that there are these certain numbers that you're getting wrong here because he said for media pr attraction pretty sure it's an idea from his managers they might have said to him ludwig or ludwig ahran what you need to do is pretty simple you have to make it seem like you did take shit from the subathon a subathon is when basically a guy starts a stream till a specific time and as someone subs by someone gives you some subs it's a feature in twitch you will have to increase the timer the timer will increase this is when it started because he went on for about 30 40 50 about 2 3 months now this is the time when his chat got extremely toxic because he can't end the stream he can it's not a necessity that he had to do it because he did it for views and everything he can just stop the stream any time he wants but he didn't anyways when dark void baby got out of his, uh, got out of his bed and he did all of his calculations he might have been wrong in some parts i mean he himself doesn't you know say that i have not been wrong in these certain aspects of the calculation but in no way in hell you got 400000 dollars in 10 days and you only took 4000 and the rest of the 80000 were from these kind of donations and everything and you did not take the others now the problem with dark void but had with this was the fact that dark void i mean ludwig kept on saying this so media everyone started saying it again and again and when he said this on twitch he made the video now he didn't make the video dark void but didn't make the video but when he re released that clip to his youtube then he was like nah this is too much he's fooling his viewers either un coincidentally no 
either knowingly or unknowingly. Let me tell you, you don't need to be a genius to understand that he did this for clout. And to this day, I will say this, he sucks at coming up with beautiful lies to beautifully mesmerize the fools that are audience. When people are frank with people, they hate him. But when you meet a sweet, sweet guy like him, it's too good of a dream, uh, dream come true. In this section, why I talked, I talked about why artists, celebrities are not God and they should be treated just like yeah, any other humans will be. Everything that's same. You want to know what that is? They lie, they manipulate. They're not God. They never were. But people still like to pretend that they have something to do with these big, big streamers or these big, big actors and try to, you know, I don't know, act like they own them. Which is the same thing with K-pop stands. K-pop stands think that Jenny, Jenna, Jennifer, whatever the fuck it is, and all these fucking BTS members who gets like who cries when they hit a nail and shit. I, I don't hate them. I respect them. Their songs are decent, not bad. I like the one gay song or that gay kind of thought song where he like kisses a statue, a gay statue. I I think that was really creative. I'm pretty sure they're not gays in real life. But I am pretty sure they will become gays if they don't terminate the contract with the company right now. Because people think they own them. Just because their skin is white and plastic as fuck, they think they own BTS men. They think, oh yeah, oh yeah, Jimin is so fucking hard. He is so fucking hard, my god. I just cannot control myself when I see Jim. He's such a cutie, such a baddie. He's my little bitch. It's what they say. It's for these little girls, these 15, 16 year old girls with, who are, you know, getting, I don't know, puberty and shit, extreme menopause and stuff. Think. All the stars thing. Same thing with Taylor Swift. I hate Taylor Swift. I'm saying this. I fucking hate her. There was a guy named Meat Canyon. I like his animation. He's still alive. I I'm not saying that. What I meant was, he made an animation. Basically talking about the toxicity of Swifties. Because she is a bitch. And I'll say this, why? Hmm? When Taylor Swift makes a video, a music video, it's always about a love, interest, breakup. Listen, people get tired when they do the same shit over and over and over again. But when a Taylor does it, when Taylor uses aeroplane to go even to the Shira, 200 miles away, people don't have a problem with that. They never had a problem with that. But then there are folks that say, we, we against the best way, just because you don't like animals down your fucking throat doesn't mean you know I can't be a cannibal doesn't mean I can't be a fucking I can't suck chickens I can't bite their heads off that doesn't mean I can't cut their legs and their breasts and suck them just because you like avocados and slightly nicely carving and eating them doesn't mean I can't eat chicken, doesn't mean I can't eat pork, doesn't mean I can't eat mutton. I can do whatever the fuck I want. But the problem is, the actors are too much of a fucking pussies. The celebrities, they're afraid. They're afraid of the community. They're afraid of gays, lesbians, transgenders, all these bitches. Let me tell you, those drag bitches that you see, what do you, I hate them. You want to know why I hate them? There's one guy who was reading stories to children. Little nine-year-old kids can literally read furry porn nowadays. Hmm? So basically, the guy said, guy literally exposed his genitals. Now listen. If a little kid sees a 
man with this dick cow is traumatized especially if it's a six year old kid and the man will get captured but when a gay does it when someone who identifies as a gay does it no it's not a problem anymore people have a problem with each other calling faggot nigger and all these words people pretend that calling someone bad words on a game chat is too offensive nowadays I started hating the word offensive because of how the gays have used it. They have started victiming themselves. There was this woman called Katie Bugs. I don't like Minecraft YouTubers. Most of them are pedos. But still, George did nothing wrong. He never really tried to rape a woman. And the funny thing is, there are people in America that get arrested just because the woman showed fake ID cards which showed they were above 18 but in reality they were like what 16 or something people try to fuck get fucked by everyone so a woman can go around the street naked but she can't even touch the woman a guy can walk around naked if he's gay and he doesn't get locked up inside and a kid can't go by that way just because they own the fucking street gays are a pathetic shit George Washington no Bill Clinton, Obama, all these people who approved gays should have a month for themselves. Niggas should have a month for themselves. Black bitches should have a month for themselves. It's so fucking bad. When I see a black guy, my instant thought is to take out a whip and strangle them with it. Or whip them out. Or make them naked. My thought is to be friendly with them. I don't need a month, I don't need gays, I don't need lesbians, I don't need people with not on pants to tell me what the fuck I should do. What's wrong with someone calling me a, a nigger? Come on, what's wrong with it? What do you have PTSD from your masters brutally beating your ancestors? They basically made that in black month you should give the black guys everything they need you should basically suck their dick if they if you have to. June should be celebrated because there's rain and shit. Not because niggas are there. You understand? To any one of you who celebrates Pride Month, in Twitter, anywhere, I suggest you do one thing. Sharpen a knife. Hmm? Make sure you pull your tongue out. Cut it. And then dig, you know, you know what tendons are, right? Take the students out and basically fuck a brick wall, a glory hole, hmm? who's extremely tight, which is extremely tight, till your big dick breaks. And you should take the knife if you're a woman and fuck finger yourself if you're a gay and you like black people celebrated as kings. Listen, you don't need to be black or white or anything. You are just a man or woman. That's all you are. You don't have to show superiority by doing all this black month, pride month bullshit. And then they have the nerve to cancel someone. Listen, if my YouTube channel gets taken down, I'll make another one. If my Twitter gets taken down, I'll make another one. To get a SIM card and to make an email, then to make G YouTube, it's not going to take me a lot of while. It's only gonna take me what, like four hours. I got a thousands of fucking sins in my backyard. That's not the problem, really. It never was. It's this this people pretending to be gay and loving to be gay and shit. If there's any kids watching this, any young kids, I genuinely want you to know, when you are gay, your life is gonna get fucked. Straight guys will bully the fuck out of you, and if you're a twink, you'll get fucked by everyone. Literally and figuratively. This is VG Suraj's advice. Again, when you're afraid of cucks like these gays, they will try to rape your kids. This is a registered sex offender as a story time reader in a grade school. How long is it going to take from a guy to literally strip these in front of kids and actually fuck each and every single one of them? If you're a man, and you cannot protect your kids. You should cut yourself. You should cut your dick. You should cut your fucking wife up. You should eat her fucking body. And you should kill yourself. 
because when a kid does not get protected by the parents go fucking shove a dick up your mouth that's all you're worth you're a worthless bitch this is an unedited, unedited video so react to this video make sure you credit my channel the political atrocities v g s w o r y a j i t h that's my name run a fucking hashtag that v g surjit is a bigot a transphobe a gay hater if you have a mustache and you still pretend being gay is fun getting fucked in the ass is fun i'm going to play a clip of a guy getting fucked in his ass it's a bone video if you're gay enjoy that video if you haven't enjoyed my commentary enjoy that one 40 second clip of him getting fucked now protect your kids from the transgenders and everyone they should not have the fucking nerve to even touch your fucking kid this video is going to get demonetized youtube's going to cut me by disabling this video but i'll upload this as much as i want Now, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys with another fucking video. Fuck! My stupid people, create hopes. Intelligent people get scared, scared. They're afraid of cancellation. A shit that should not affect them in real life. Because they're cucks. Cucks. <laughs>